Now we've got the beast park there. Room, I would say, for about, if parked correctly, about five or six cars. The same two or three down there and just round the corner. So very good morning from me. About 10 to 8 in the morning, Saturday morning. Uh, but it's been the best day of the week to get over the lakes. So I'm going to do six wane rides today. Uh, all brand new fells for me. Uh, first one and the name is Great Cock Up. Yeah, don't laugh. Driving over the moors, I've been in hysterics every time I think of that. And I always stop three quarters of the way over the moors, toilet break, nice bacon sandwich, cup of coffee, and uh, just got myself calmed down, looking at the map. And the sister fell, it's called Little Cock Up. So that was me away again. <laughs> Childish, I know. And this is where we're going to start. Straight through the gate there. The old deal. Common. Well, you see, we we're parked and uh, already a bit of a cock up. <laughs> I'll just check the map and uh, it looks like I'm going up the way I had it planned to come down. But no matter, we're not letting it bother us. <laughs> no matter which way round we go, as long as we go round them all, I'll be quite happy with that. You can see the path we've took all the way down. I think I've only been going about half an hour, if that and we're almost going to make our first summit so when you're doing six in a day it's sometimes nice very very quickly to get that first one uh, bagged because going the way I initially planned it looked like it was quite a walk to get to the first one well first summit of the day and uh, bumped into two really nice people that I'll have a little bit of a chat to and they've been very very brave and wild camping <laughs> up here so we've got Sophie <laughs> and Jason. Right. Anyway, it's been very nice to have met them anyway, so hopefully they'll have a really nice rest of the day. So I just dropped down off the summit. We want to be up the next one which is there. So first one under my belt, five more to do. Onwards to the second one of the day, Bray fell. Our second cock up of the day. <laughs> Given that we want to be up there. But I thought, hey, I better check the map, just be 100% certain. Need to drop down here, there now, across the gill, and you can see the path, and that is a more direct route. And when you're coming down, you see no other footprints apart from your own. You think I better be a bit careful here, and this is what you've got to watch out for. Stuff like this. You put your pole down, and you go down about two foot. Now I'm just under 16 stone, so if I put my foot there first, before me pull, I may get a bit of a surprise. So always a reassuring sign when you see somebody else coming down the route that you're going to go up. So second summit of the day, Brefal. I'm going to have a quick drink and uh, maybe it's a bit of chocolate, just for a bit of energy. And then we're heading off and it looks like heading off there, which may well be Little Scar Crags, which I think is not a, a Wayne race, I think it's just a Burkett. I think the one I want is a bit further on. That's where we were before. And we did drop down a lot, across the gill, and then it was a steep up. I bumped into a couple on the way down, and it's, oh, you picked the, the steepest way up. I thought it didn't look too bad. Anyway, four full summits later, we finally arrive at the summit. <laughs> Take me down jacket off, I was overheating with that on. Uh, but still nice to know that uh, if things change, I've got some warmth in my bag. And I've also got my waterproofs in the bag as well. I don't know if it's just me, but I'm sure there's more snow on them high fells there now than it was five minutes ago. So just be on the safe side, I'm going to plow on. I said two down, four to go. Uh, next one, grey scar fell. And then there's an out and back to get the highest one of the day, not. So while uh, we've got some uh, nice walking to do, uh, a good opportunity to answer another question, I think. Why did you pick the name Alan Metalman? And thankfully, my son took after me as regards musical taste. So he's a big metal fan. And he had his own thrash metal band called Fallen Fate. And I said they used to tour all the way around the UK, 
uh, me and Mrs Metal Man would go down, have a great night. One of the places he used to play a lot was a place called the Old Wharf down at uh, Birmingham. And when we used to come down, a few of the people would say, he's the Metal Man from the North. And so the name stuck. So hopefully that's answered that question. Again, if you've got any more, put them in the comments. For the people who watch my Great Melfell video, uh, The Ascent of Doom, if you watched it from start to finish, uh, you're part of a very, very small and very, very select group. You don't know, I mentioned my brother-in-law who was in hospital at the time. Got some good news yesterday, he actually left hospital and went home yesterday. But thank you very much for the people who took the time to wish him well. Very much appreciated. So a little scar fell. Not a Wainwright. A class as a Burkett. But very, very nice view from here. Nice little shelter there. We're heading up there to the official Wainwright, which is Great Scarfell. And then we're going to do an out and back to the highest one of the day, not. I'd just like to uh, thank my fan. <laughs> he knows who he is and uh, for buying me another coffee. And it's not this weekend, it's next weekend, my birthday. But thank you anyway. Great scar. Fell. So this is the official Wainwright. I think we are then going to head up there to the high point of the day. Not. We'll then come back on ourselves. And without looking at the map, I assume we're heading over there. So that's where we drop down from. You're walking on this. Which is not the best. Up there to go, yes. And this has been hard going on this. Just a bit frustrating when it's a horrible walk over a bog. When you hit the top, you've got to turn around and then do it all again. <laughs> Or summit of the day not uh, not to be confused with the knot which is another way right I have done not a breath of wind and this is the highest summit of the day when you finally get to the top it's a uh, very very firm underfoot the unfortunate thing is after a quick bite here uh, we we'll have to turn around and retrace our steps over the bog again and climb back up the top of Great Scarfell to then go on to the final two summits of the day Meal Fell and uh, Great Cock Up <laughs> Stop it Wait a minute <laughs> Whew. Sorry about that How Childish I know At my age I'm never going to change <laughs> And sometimes when you're on top of a fell and you start wandering around uh, there's so many different routes off it's very easy to get disorientated if you haven't got a paper map and compass you need a downloaded map onto your phone which you can check which just as well i did there otherwise i'll be walking down to another valley talk about carry on cock up dear me <laughs> well the temperature is definitely dropping the down jacket's going to have to come back out again I think if I stop again uh, but now we're heading back down the correct way back through the uh, peat bogs of doom uh, yeah look at them bogs there you think well that doesn't look too bad from here they don't when you get down in them dear me <sighs> so back to where we were and we're heading towards the last two meal fell and the, uh, the other one I'm not going to say and it looks like a nice steep drop down to climb all the way up there and that looks like meal fell over there which will leave us one to go <laughs> so after dropping all the way down from there and then climbing all the way up here uh, you get the sub of can of meal fell which is not that inspiring if 
fair enough there's a nice shelter over there but fifth one of the day one more to go so I've got to head over there and then I've got to come back on myself again so a really nice walk I've, I've really enjoyed it to be fair and uh, even though we did have a bit of bog and uh, there's been quite a few uh, ups and downs but so what well here we go again dropping down to climb all right back up again and there is the path that will take me back to the car but before that i've got to go up there dear me talk about up down up down <sighs> anywhere one last to go anyway that's where we're heading Whew, starting to blow now and uh wait a minute don't say that's it please don't say that is the top you know something it is what a pull up here for that <laughs> so sixth and final summit of the day sorry I'm going for it great cock up way sorry about that just couldn't resist it and looking back at all the fells that we've been on today I'm going to enjoy it while I'm here I'm going to have five minutes wander about before I head back down sometimes people have said I saw you do this I saw you do that do you think I'll be able to do it next week I'll be 68 so if you're younger than me and thinking about doing this yes you can do it so that's another six Wainwrights uh, in the bag today so that takes me up to 120 uh, completed so 94 left to do so if ever I did this uh, walk again without a shadow of doubt I would do it the way that I've done it uh, not the way I initially had it planned that first fell was within an hour it was straight out the gate and it was going up and it was quite steep so when you feel nice and fit and fresh great the way I initially had it planned was walking around this way a long walk in quite flat slowly getting up and then bang all of a sudden you're, you're up there then your final one of the day you will be dropping a steep drop down when you're feeling really tired back to the car so in my opinion this way I've done it is definitely the best way well there's the beast parks there was a very clear path going up there which I saw straight away assumed that was the path I wandered and I was hopping up there this morning like a spring lamb either way that's been a lovely walk back really has been nice and gentle coming back having said that it was like an old pit pony coming down it Saturday night I always look forward to Saturday night uh, steak and chips night uh, good drink night film night and our date night dear me so you've watched all the way through thank you you're part of a very very small and select group uh, if you've enjoyed the video click on the like button i really would appreciate that as well and it won't be too long before i'm back out again cheers